Hi guys, my name is Mayank and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about happiness, happiness as a concept and what it means to me. I think it is a concept which everyone has different definitions of and everyone has been wanting to understand what is happiness because everyone wants to be happy in their lives. For me, the definition of happiness uh, has evolved over time as I have got more knowledge, I have read books, I have read articles about happiness and I have got to know a little bit more about my own self. Um, I used to think about happiness differently in the past compared to what uh, I think of it now. Uh, I think when uh, we were young, when we were going to school or even when we were in college, I think we were always told of a, a particular uh, phase in life which we need to achieve uh, and after that everything will be sorted out. Everyone told us in school that uh, board exams are important. Uh, in college we were told that once you finish college, uh, once you get a job, everything will be sorted and so on and so forth. When you get a job, it's about marriage, then it's about kids and this is a never ending process. So this concept which we have grown up with has always made us believe that happiness is a thing which is there in the future and once you achieve that particular point in future, you will achieve happiness. But for me, uh, as I have understood, um, I have been able to define happiness very simply. Happiness to me just means the degree to which I am available in the present moment. Because I feel that when I am available in the present moment, I am fully aware of what is happening around me. I am able to appreciate the things which are there around me. If I have some physical objects around me, I am always able to appreciate that I own them. And even like the sounds of the nature or or the way I'm able to wake up to a peaceful morning, that is something which always, always makes me happy. It makes me feel that I am alive. I think these moments will only occur uh, in, in those phases, in those moments of your life when you are calm, when you are not uh, excited or when you are not greatly depressed. So you need to be in a calm state of mind. You don't need to be at the extreme points of, of the behavior of, of or your moods. Because when you go to the extreme points of your behavior, I think happiness just disappears. Uh, when you are extremely happy, you would always think about the future. You would think about how everything is going to be sorted in your future. Let's say you have you have uh, achieved a lottery or let's say uh, you have been able to, to marry the love of your life. That is an extremely happy moment. You might be so excited. You might think of a great future. You might think of, of the perfect life ahead of you. Uh, but and when you are sad, I think you always go back to the past uh, memories, go back to the past moments, those nostalgic moments when everything was perfect in your life. So these are the two ends of the emotions which you don't want to be in. You want to be in, in a calm state of mind, neither very happy, uh, neither excited nor too depressed. So when you are in a calm state of mind, when you are available in the present moment, you will realize that the present moment is the most important thing and that is the only thing that matters and once you are able to appreciate those series of present moments doesn't it mean that your whole life is going to be sorted it's going to be happy i know it might sound a little, little bit difficult when you are uh, in those difficult moments of your life when you are facing difficulties in your career but just staying in the present moment and just thinking of getting through the present moment is something which which can give you strength and which can make you a little bit happy. Uh, at this moment, uh, I want to end this video uh, by reciting one of the one of the things which I read in, in the psychology of money. So Joseph Heller, who is the author of Catch-22, he was attending a party wherein one of the friends, he told him that the organizer of the party had earned more money in a single day uh, by his investments than Joseph Heller had earned in his entire lifetime by writing the novel Catch-22. So at that moment, Joseph Heller told him that although he has earned more money, but I have something that this person will never have and that is enough. When you understand that what you have is enough, which you require, it can instantly bring you peace and happiness and you will not require anything, anything else, anything extraordinary. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you gained something from it. Uh, my name is Mayank and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.